Hey guys, it's Meme. I'm a trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. Welcome to the Tuesday afternoon live show. Happy New Year again. The Crafty Sidekick Shenanigans is on the other side. We are excited to see you today. Got a big show in store for you today, and it's going to be a lot of fun. My mate's doing one of your guys' favorite things, as many as technique. As many as, the technique that it is. So, you guys over the years have wanted me to literally do as many as for every tiny little project ever, right? Because I get it. We all like to make a lot at one time, and we don't like leftovers. We don't like waste, Right. So I was like, oh, I know what we can do in the live show today. And I came up with the card I wanted to do. But then I was like, wait a minute. I could as many as this. Who are we checking? Mine or his? I was like, I could as many as this. Um, no. How is it red? Mine is saying it's red. And um, I just changed the battery then. Did you put bad batteries in it? No, I don't think I took them out of there. Are they in the wrong way? No, we all wouldn't do that. Are you sure? <laughs> I wouldn't do I'm not sure, and I wouldn't do that. That's She's not sure she wouldn't do that. Now we're green. I don't know. I just maybe maybe we put some back in the box. We didn't mean to. Um, maybe that's what we did. There you go. Okay, so over the years, you guys have enjoyed the as many as technique so much that you want to see me do it for every tiny project we do. And I understand. Because as many as does away with a lot of waste and it also helps you make a lot of things at one time. So for today, I'm saying all this over again. Today, I had a card in mind I wanted to show y'all. And then I was like, wait a minute. Instead of planning it before the show, let's let the show be about the planning. Because I want you to see how this works. Okay. So what I did was I found the card design I want to do. And then I'm going to take you along as I plan it in an as many as style. Now, this works for any card, what we're fixing to do. It can also work for folios. It can also work for 3D projects. It can work for anything you're doing if you just think it out ahead of time. Okay. So we're going to start with a white piece of cardstock. I normally don't. Let me, I'll tell you exactly what I normally do. Okay. I normally take out my notebook. I have these everywhere. I have this one that I use. Like I take these guys. Any, and now I have these. I haven't even started using these yet. These A lot of you guys send us these little notebooks. So I keep these close, right? And I have that's, a drawer full. Yeah, that's where I start is my little notebooks. But for today, I want you to be able to see what's happening. So I'm going to use this. And I'm probably going to use a Sharpie, which might be a mistake. Do you want something besides a Sharpie? Well, they need to be able to see it. So I need something a little bold. Mm. Oh. Oh, I know the perfect thing. She knows the pause for just a moment. She said pause. So what I'm going to do, here's where I started a writ, the very first thing. Okay. I went out to the internet, Pinterest, Google, maybe, maybe you go to a site like my site. Maybe you go to um, Facebook groups that you're part Should of. Be similar. You, thank you. Yeah, this will work. And you find a card design you like. That's where you start. Okay. So for me, I want to do an A2 size card. Okay. I'm going to try to be super neat. I'm never this neat. Y'all need to, I want you to know when I'm doing this, it is chicken scratch. I'm not going to save this. It's, I mean, you might want to save it for later, but I won't. So A2 card. Okay. And I know that my fold is back here in the back. So I'm just going to do that number. So I know that's how it folds. Okay. But I want this flap to fold over. All right. Because I want to make this like a Z fold card. You've probably made these before. Okay. So this flat will fold this way. So here's the things we know. Let's start with the things we know. I know that the width of this card is 4.25. Okay. And I know that the height of this card is five and a half. So 5.5, right? Okay. If I fold this in half, I need to cut this number in half. So this then becomes two and one eighth, which is 2.016, some, I don't know. Anyway, and an eighth. So that means this section is two and an eighth. What's cool about that is it means that when I cut my panel, my layer mat right here, that means this layer mat needs to be two inches wide. That's a good number. We like that. Okay. So two inches from my layer. 
All right. Everybody see where I'm at? Everybody understand what I'm doing? I've chosen the card layout I want. Of course, but there's more to add to my card layout. This is just the beginning. Okay. And I want to fold this piece back onto itself. That's how easy it is. Onto itself. Okay. And then that gives me two and an eighth. And when I, when I trim this down by one eighth, I get two inches. Now I could go to one and seven eighths, but I'd rather not. Okay. Now it does change some things for us a little bit because I'm only taking an eighth of an inch away. We're going to be close in our paper right there, but I'm okay with that. We'll just use that same thing all throughout. Does that make sense? What I'm telling you, you know, we only took an eighth away, not a quarter away. Normally we take a quarter, split it in half and have an eighth inch mat on either side. Today we're taking an eighth. We'll have a 16 inch on either side. Okay. I want to make sure I explain that to you. All right. So two inch layer. This is good to know. Now, this won't be here anymore. Remember, we've folded this down, so I don't have to deal with this. Behind here, inside my card, so let's go inside the card. Let's step inside the map. I'm going to imagine this is my open card, okay? So remember, my front flap is folded, so I only see half of it here. Inside here, I need a white panel or whatever I want to put on the inside of my card. I typically put like a white panel. Well, remember, I'm working with this one eighth gone. So I want to do the same thing here. So for my panel on the inside, instead of it being four and a quarter, it will be four and one eighth by, instead of being five and a quarter, it'll be five and three eighths. Yeah, but we would normally cut it to four and a, four by five and a quarter. No, I got to change that. I had my, I had that wrong. Uh, I don't have no white up here, do I? I got a snow marker. No. <laughs> that ain't going to do it. All right, we'll just scratch it out. This is going to trigger some folks. It's going to trigger my friends that can't handle when you scratch stuff out. Shannon. Nah, um, it's okay. It's scrap paper. All right, so I did that wrong. So let's go back and talk about that again so it'll make sense. So inside here, I normally would do four by five and a quarter, but because I'm not doing the one eighth math, I'm doing, I was right. I was right. Cause I'm doing the one sixteenth instead of taking a quarter off cause it's four and a quarter and we would cut it down to four to do a quarter. It's four and one eighth. I was right. And if I wasn't, I'm going to keep going and we'll find out in the finished product. <laughs> Let's go. So here, instead of being five and a half that I cut to five and a quarter, it's going to be five, five and three eighths. So I'll have a 16th all the way around. Somebody tell me I'm right. You're right. And if I'm wrong, save it for later. We'll find five out together. Five and three eighths. If I'm wrong, hold on. We'll all find out together. No. Five That's and true. three eighths. So we're taking an eighth off. So this is going to be my mat inside my card because I'm working with that 16th. You don't have to do the 16th. If it's too much, just cut this to one and seven eighths and do your regular stuff. Okay. So here's what we got. So I need this. This is my inside mat. I'll tell you this too. What I normally do with this piece that I'm scratching up right now is hand it to Shannon for her to make a PDF. That's how we do it. I do all this and then I go here. Can you make a PDF out of that? And she does. Exactly. Okay. Now what I want to do is decide what other designer paper I want on the front. This is going to be all I want to put on the front. Even though I'm going to fold that piece back and have kind of a flat spot inside, I don't think I want to waste paper inside there. I like the fold. I like how it's going to be but I think I'm just going to let that be solid. I could change my mind, but for now, I don't want to cut more paper and, and put inside of that folded area. So what I do want to do though, I'm going to redraw this. Okay. That's all I'm doing here in, in case you're trying to follow along. And I know following along with me is really hard. Well, that don't want to write right there. Something's wrong with my paper. Huh? It wrote really well down here. I did. All right. So here's my card again. And I'm going to do my little, I really could have just drawn my little half. That would have been fine. I wouldn't need that whole flap over there. But here's my little mat. We know what size it is. We know all that. I want an element here. I want something to float on it. Okay. And I really don't have to use, but I'm going to. I don't have to use a square. I could use a circle. I could use a die cut. I could use a heart. So, Right here, what I'm going to do for this one is use a square. And I think I'm going to do it three by four. 
just because today we're doing this on camera, let's keep things pretty simple. So we'll do a little three by four. Another reason I want to do a three by four is because if you have a paper pad that has cut aparts in it, this is a great place to put a cut apart, a three by four. I may not want to use a three by four. It may be a little big for me. Let me, let me do a little, and this is exactly what I do. Okay. I do ciphering. Sometimes I will have a card base over here. Hang on. All you need is a cement pond and you can just be Jethro. Be Jethro with all my ciphering. All you ciphering. Okay. This was a card I was doing a test on. By the way, if you want to know, that's crystal glaze. No, it's not. That's glossy accent in the shape of a heart. It dried. I tried inking it. I'm okay with it. It needs some tweaking, but let's go back here. Okay. <laughs> so for another day, here's my card. If I do three inches, this is what you want. To, this is why when you have these like cards, you mess up or you're just playing with don't throw them away because watch if i do three inches i put it here and it will cover that much of my card well i don't want to cover that much of my paper see that's why i want to look at it i don't want that much of my card to be gone i want that paper to show so let's change this so instead of three let's do two and a half and if we're going to do that let's move a quarter of an inch in here Let's take it on both sides and a quarter of an inch here. So now that's two and a half. I like two and a half better. I see a little more on my cardstock. Okay. So two and a half by, yeah, five, four would have made me sad. I'm going to do three. I wouldn't normally, but I kind of like that. I'm going to do two and a half by three. Yep. So that means this piece right in here is going to be two and a half by. Three. Now, the other thing I need to decide is two and a half by three, my designer paper, or is two and a half by three, my outer paper. I want it to be my outer paper because I don't want to cover up more. Okay. Nice. So this will be a solid. And typically how I'm designing this, it'll be the color of the card base. Doesn't have to be. There's no rules. I'm just going to say that. Okay. So that means inside of here, I'm going to need designer paper, which you can call DSP or designer paper, whatever you want to. That's going to be two. Now I got to do that one eighth thing again. So it's going to be two. And if I'm going to take an eighth, that's going to be three eighths, right? By two and seven eighths. And here's what you can do. Just look at your ruler. If you're not sure, it was two and a half. I'm taking an eighth away. That's two and three eighths. And two and seven eighths, we are right. Okay. Now this doesn't include a sentiment. I'm going to want to add a sentiment, but we can do that in a lot of different ways. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. So this is what I'm working with. So the pieces I need to cut from my designer paper, I need to cut two inch by, oh, we never even talked about the height of this one. The height of this one is going to be uh, five and four. seven eighths, four, four and seven, seven eighths. eighths. No, it's five and a half. Oh yeah. So it'd be five and, it'd be, um, uh, five, five and a half tall, three eighths. eight. Five and three eighths. three eighths. So this needs to be two by five and three eighths. Okay. And then I need this layer. No, that's not designer. I need this one that is two and three eighths by two and seven eighths. Those that are confused, it will make more sense when she starts actually making it. And then, but the these are the processes we go through to come up with the projects. <laughs> For bases, I'm going to do A2 bases, which what are A2 bases? Y'all know they're four and a quarter by five and a half. And they're, for what we're doing today, we're doing portrait bases. Okay. So they're going to be five and a half tall and eight and a half wide. Okay. But that's if I'm making my own. I probably will dig into, it depends. If no, I use I white, any portrait. I don't have any. Um, you don't have any that open the right way. Ours are all vertical. That's true. And I also don't have bright color. We already talked about that. Yeah. We wanted a different color. So I'll do A2 bases. We'll come up with that. And the only other thing I need is this solid mat. And it needs to be two and a half by three. Okay. Now then, I've got my measurements. Okay. Now you're like, yeah, but where does, uh, where does the as many as come in? Here's where it comes in. Okay. I'm going to start with this strip. To me, this is the focal point of my card. To me, it is the is the biggest piece on my card. Think about that. It's the biggest piece of designer paper I've got to cut because it's the longest, right? So it's going to determine my as many as. It, this will make sense in a second. The paper pack I'm going to use today is this stunningly gorgeous pack because I kind of want to do this as a mystery card situation. 
And I want to show y'all something. My paper is bent. It got bent in shipping and it's not even going to matter. Like if this ever happens to you, it's not even going to matter. You'll see at the end, it doesn't matter. It you what? No, no the, it was just it in the shifted box. under the stack of paper and it went like that. So it was up the side. Mm. So I said, I can use it. No big deal. All right. So and I'll just have to use some of it too. So now I'm just going to run through and find what I want to use. Can you smell you it? You walked oh, it well. Look at that. I saw that. Put that one aside. Did you just asked him if they could smell it. Shannon, she said, mm, you wafted it well, is what she said. You can't smell it? No. Flap it towards him and then he'll smell it. Flap it. Scrap you it 45. You'll smell it. You'll smell I'll it. I'll smell it. Oh, this one's pretty too. But I'm on, I really like this one over here right now. I'm really liking it. Ooh, look at this I one. love that one too. Let's put this one over here too. All right, so I'm going to run through. Remember, we're only looking for paper for one spot. I don't want to use cut aparts, and there are stickers on the back. Okay. Now, I'm going to. Too. Yeah, there are two sides. But what I'm what I'm looking for. Yeah. Actually, can you, while I'm doing this, cut me card bases? That, um, that, do you want that one, or do you want one of the PAs? <gasps> oh, I didn't think about these. What do you think? No. I think that's pretty. A little better. Too dark. Mm. Mm. Oh, I kind of like that, Shannon. And I don't normally yeah. like this one. I like that. Okay, so here's Good what choice. I need you to cut me, if you don't mind. I need you to cut me. Well, not yet. Let me get a number for you. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's put this where you can see it. I know I need this two by five and three eighths. Okay. So I'm going to start. I like the black. I think I do. Let me see that again. Say it again. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is cut my designer strip off of this page. Cut this designer strip off. And what did I do? I almost made a mistake. Did y'all see me almost make a mistake? Because I did. Open this up. Because measurements matter here. Can I get a shirt that says measurement matter? Because measurement matters. So I'm going to put my paper at 12. Now, why am I doing that? If you're new to me and you don't know this, okay, here's the thing. Some of your paper manufacturers are very generous with their papers. And if you just cut your designer strip off, you could be leaving as much as an eighth of an inch. And when we're doing all this measurement, it can let you be off a little bit. Okay. So let me show you. This one had about a sixteenth of an inch added onto it. Not much, but more than I want to hold on to. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to I want to cut this in. I want to start. You don't have to start this way. You start either way you want, but I'm going to start with my five and three eighths mark. So five and three eighths. I'm going to cut this down and I'll tell you all something. Yes, I could do the math and tell you how many I'm going to get out of this sheet. But more times than not, I make mistakes when I do that. So I prefer just to go ahead and cut it down, if that makes sense. So I'm going to start at five and three eighths. Check, check and recheck. Five, one, two, three, five and three eighths. Okay, cut. There's one strip. Now I'm going to take this other piece and I'm going to cut it down to five and three eighths. So I've gotten my height on two pieces. Okay, now I'm going to put this one aside. Sometimes, sometimes you get lucky and this is the size you need. It won't be today, but sometimes you do and you can use it too. Today we can't. So here's what we're going to do. Now that I've got these two five and three eighths pieces, I'm going to stack them on top of each other. I'm going to place them into my trimmer and I'm going to start cutting them down to my two inch mark. Why am I doing that? Do you remember? Let's let me, I want to make this make sense. Here's why I'm doing. I'm going to take one of these apart. No, I won't. We'll leave them together. They don't want to come apart. This is that piece. Okay. This is that two and five, two by five and three eighths. So I'm going to put that over here. Okay. And then I'm going to go here. I don't like the way that paper looks. Let's do it again. Cut another two inch piece. I really like that this piece starts at two inches. I know that made us have to use some eights, but I really like it here. You see? Now, I know I'm teaching you this as a technique because it is a technique. It's not, every paper pack doesn't come with its own as many as, but every piece of paper can become an as many as, is what I'm saying to you. So if you're opening up a pack of paper, it, this, this paper pack did not dictate my as many as I do. The project does. Does that make sense? The project does. All right. So two inches here. Now, here's what I love. We should end up 
with a two inch cut here. However, I'm going to check it and I'll tell you why. Generosity of paper companies. And also poor lining up of paper. Like sometimes I don't line my paper up just right. And look, now you might think, oh, my may those little slivers wouldn't matter. And to most people it wouldn't. And me included, it wouldn't. However, we're only working with a 16th of an inch. It would have mattered. <laughs> Somebody would have seen it. Okay. All right. So now, although I should be able to tell you how many I have here, I'm still going to, I'm going to count it this way. This is exactly what I do when I'm making a video for y'all, isn't it? I just count everything. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Guess how many cards I'm going to make in my as many as from one sheet. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I'm going to use another sheet. I'm going to use another sheet. Use, but this is the one that's going to drive me. Okay. I need to make 12 because I want to make sure these all get used. So I need 12 bases and I'm also going to need 12 two and a half by three of that same color. This way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Exactly, Rebecca. We can do it in our head. We knew it, but I'm a checker. Like I'm afraid of my math. I'm afraid of math. I'm not afraid of measurements. So I trust my cutting more than I trust my math. So we're going to make 12. Okay. Now that means I need 12 coordinating pieces in this. Now this may get hairy. This may cut some papers funny, but we'll see. So because I use that floral, I don't want to use, I don't, I love this page, but I don't want to use this with that. For me, that's a little busy. What I'm going to, oh, that's dry. But I'm going to use a stripe. <laughs> I'm not even going to dig. I'm going to use a stripe. And here's where I'm going to go back and start cutting again. Now, I like to, you can do what you want to do, but my brain says that this is important. Work with what your brain understands. If your brain understands it, you'll have a good time. If you're sitting there going, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? It won't be fun. My brain understands cutting the, the height first. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I want my stripes, let's pay attention. I want my stripes to go up and down on my card. You might not. You might want them to go sideways. That's fine. But I want them to go up and down. Do I? I kind of like sideways too. They're going to go up and down. Okay. For a moment, I went, I like it. They're going to go up and down. Because of that, I want to cut my height this way. You see? Because I want them to go up and down. I want it to be taller here. So the height of this is going to be two and seven eighths. So I'm going to put this into my trimmer, put it on two and seven eighths. I'm going to check, check and recheck. Okay. Two and seven eighths. That is the height of my square. Before I cut this down and I'll tell you why. Let me do it and then I'll tell you why, because it'll make sense if I do it that way. Before I cut any more, I'm going to come right here and, and sub cut this. By the way, that's a quilting term, but it works perfect here. I'm going to sub cut this piece into two and three eighths as many times as I can. And I don't know on this one because the three eights are throwing me. Some of you guys probably know. I don't know. I do not know. We'll see how many we get. You'll know in just a minute. Won't yep, you? That's what we're doing. We're, we're ciphering. Okay. We're figuring it out. Thank you for that. I really do strive to be, I really strive to teach you guys. That's my, my goal. Guess what? I think I did that wrong. No, I almost did that wrong. That's where I almost messed up. Okay, see? Stop. Look. Listen, baby. You were waiting on it, weren't you? <laughs> I was trying not to sing it. Ain't no matter Stop. how. Look and listen, listen baby. baby. That's my philosophy. Okay. One, two, three. Maybe we just get a strike. Probably. No, because it won't sound anything like it. Look at this, you guys. I'm loving this. Look how this is laying out. This is the little bit of waste off of that. Okay. That's good news. All right. So let's see what we ended up with. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm going to be able to get 12. That's not an issue. So I need to cut two more strips. Now, the reason I didn't want to just willy nilly cut all of this to two and seven eighths, I probably, no, I could have cut four, couldn't I? Yeah, three, six, nine, twelve. Uh-huh. I don't want to do that because it, I would like to keep as big of a piece of scrap as I can. Does that make sense? I, I don't want to just have a bunch of willy-nilly stri uh, strips that I cut I didn't need. So 
I'm going to go here. And this one needs to be two and seven eighths. And this time I will cut two strips because I know I need it. Okay. So two and seven eighths. So you see, I could have gotten another one and had a little bit of leftover, but I want to keep this as, as intact as I can because think about this. If I decide to use this in like a folio or something, this is a good size strip for that. Okay. Now let's cut these down. Two and three eighths as many times as we can. Five, six, seven. I'm going to say, unless, unless I'm crazy, you should get five out of each strip. I will. I just want to make sure. I just want to know ahead of time so I wouldn't waste paper, wait, waste cardstock. Because if I only needed one more strip, but I cut two more, that's just two wasted strips. You see? Yes. Yes. I and I'm going to tell you something. I don't trust my brain. Here's another thing. If you're unsure, use some paper you don't like for your first bit and cut it. Let it be your tester, because I promise yeah, you. Use some old ugly paper. Just use some paper you don't like, and then if you if you go, oh, I don't really like this at all. Put it in your scrap bin, because you probably can use it in a tiny place somewhere. Two and three eighths. Lice. Okay, so we know we're covered. We know we've got enough. We've got a little bit extra. And if we really wanted to do it, now this is where it's going to get hairy, okay? If we really wanted to, I could get five more here. And how many do I have left over? Well, you needed 12, and you should have 15. So, math people annoy me. Now. <laughs> So here's the three I had left over. I can get five here. That's eight. Okay. So then what I could do is I could cut again the two inch strips, use these eight and maybe go into my scrap bin and pull out like half a sheet of 12 by 12 and finish this off instead of cutting into another 12 by 12. You see what I'm saying? It's easy enough to do that. You test out. Test, test my number if you don't mind. No, because they look exactly the same, but they're not. We're good. Okay. Yes. So now we can start assembling. So Shannon's got our, uh, did you score them too? I scored down the middle. Okay. Gosh, this is lovely. It is. Huh. It is lovely paper. What it, do we have this? Probably not because I grabbed it. I from, don't like, know. I think this is something they sent me to try and I really like this. We have to order this. Feel that. Yeah, it's, um. That's lovely. It cuts almost with a little. It feels like rice paper. Yeah, but hard stuff. like rice I don't know. Stuff. But it's nice. Can it's we order nice that? Paper. I like it. Tam said we don't have it. I want to say what I what I think, but I'm afraid to. It almost feels like old school construction paper. Yeah, I see. What it's you're just a little sturdier, but yeah, it does. A little sturdier. All right. So back to our design, and you remember our design dictated that we need to score halfway the middle of our card base. So we're going to do that. And our card base needs to be scored. It's four and a quarter. So it's going to be scored at two and an eighth. Now, y'all do understand that you can use any card stock. It doesn't have to be this particular color that we're using. This is a creamy tan. What it's called it? beach sand. Well, that is very accurate. Uh -huh, it is. And it kind of feels like sand. It's very <laughs> accurate. I really like it. So what we did, crease this. Yeah, we'll order this. If they still have it, listen, some of this they sent me ages ago and I stick it down here and don't always have time to try it. So here's what we've created. See this? So that was the project. We knew that. And we'll put them together in a second. Let's get all our scoring done. Do you need me to do some? Um, yeah, do some. Just at two and an eight on the front. Two and an eight. Twelve? Uh-huh. Does it not feel like twelve? It doesn't feel like twelve. Well, let's count and make One, her. two, three, four, five. Maybe it's not 12. I'll do some more. It doesn't feel like 12, does it? The hardest part of this job. Oh, Shannon, did your computer cut off? It did. It's frozen. Her computer does that. We're trying to figure that out. The hardest part of this job is not using the blades. What did you say? Two and an eight? Two and an eight. Wow. It just not using the went away completely. My favorite card base cardstock when I can use it is the PA, the white one, the 110 pound white, because it's so affordable. 
when I can use it, that's my favorite. If you're doing an as many as, I actually don't recommend this because this is going to be more expensive. You know what I'm saying? That I like that ream of cardstock I can get a lot out of. If you're doing as many as, I mean, if you're just, if you're making cards because you need a bunch, don't go to your really expensive cardstock for that. Use your expensive stuff for um, folios and albums and things like that. All right. I'm going to fold and crease while you guys ask questions. Ask me questions because those who watch this later might be a little confused about um, anything we said. So if there was anything confusing, let me clear it up. If there was anything muddy, let's clear it up. Terry said, that's totally my thinking process, but I don't have that annoying math person telling me what I should have. And then she says, you got to love them math people. Math people. Well, if it was this, it should be that. Don't say that to me. Let me look at my papers. Let just me count, count them. Buddy. And by the way, I wasn't ignoring him. I was just trying to get 12 put aside. Just count them. <laughs> I wasn't ignoring you. I just needed to get 12 I, out. I, I never thought you were. Here we go. And Okay, so Karen says, I like how you use what we have available in the store, but it's good you show us we need to use what we have and not buy something new for every project. You don't have to. But listen, I do try to use what's available in the, in the store. And let me tell you why. Because inevitably, somebody watching will want something I'm using. And if I don't have it available, and we're in that terrible time where there's nothing new and all the old has sold. And we're just kind of in that in-between. We're floating. We're floating in between seasons. But it's all coming. We have a um, Vince has placed a pretty good size order for some good stuff, and we've got more stuff coming too. So we'll have it. But I really don't know where we're at on number of card bases. Um, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'll do this one. As many as can be very economical. The way I like for you to consider as many as more than taking an entire paper pack and breaking it down. Because I mean, you can make hundreds of cards in an as many as situation from a paper pack. Okay. What I want you to do is think of it for those one and two sheets that you have left over. You see, like you've made a folio, you've made some brag books, you've made some 3d projects, and now you have one or two sheets left. <clears throat> Use those. And especially those sheets you don't know what to do with, treat them as mystery cards. If you've not watched this before, try to watch one of my mystery card videos because if you'll take those beautiful pieces that you just don't know what to do with and treat them like a mystery card, you'll be shocked how beautiful your cards will be. Do you mind cutting for me? Let me just lay one of these out and let's get the sentiment strip cut. What I'll probably do with the sentiment strip is want to cut a base from there and then a white for a, st a stamp. All right. So this is going to be. There are 12 of those. Okay. I this can. is going to layer. This is our. All, you all saw these numbers, okay? So this is going to layer, and look how how neat, how tidy. See how tidy that line is? Pretty. All right, and this is going to lay on here like this, and I'm going to just center it in the card. Isn't that going to be cute? Okay, so what I want to do here is decide my sentiment. Now, this, although I use Valentine paper, is not Valentine. Like, it's just, I mean, is there a place that just says Valentine? That says music, love. It's just... Nothing says Valentine on here. So um, what I would like to do, I think, is maybe make them thank you cards. Is that, should it be thank you cards or should I do thinking of you? We could do something like that. Maybe just find me. Um, we want something to stamp inside of here. It can be a punch. It can be just a strip. The one I saw that made me want to do this was a strip that went across even longer, like went all the way across. So you want to pull some stamp sets and let's look at one and see what we want. She doesn't want to. She's like, no, I'm good. I, I already did pull. this. So that's enough. I don't know what to pull. Okay. So try thank you. Oh, anniversary is a good idea. Try. Um, here's another thing, you guys. Just use multiple sentiments. They don't have to all be the same. Make a whole, and we could do that too if you wanted to. But we, time constraints. But make all you want to. Okay. All right. So let's start gluing. Let's start. Oh, look at this. And sometimes you get lucky and you love the back too. Isn't that pretty? All right, so let's just start to glue it. Now I'm going to use our glitter glue just multiple reasons. Time. I am not a person who wants to use sticky tape um, that I have to lay down and all that kind of stuff. I would prefer to do this because it's quicker. Just mutual quicker. And remember, 
Art glitter glue loves pressure. So press that down. I'm going to come back to these. And just a little dab will do you. Oh, gosh. The tiniest dab. And I can put you back. Did you know you were back? Um, yeah. Okay. She's back. But I'm not, really. Because I'm here. Not there. Sylvia said it's sad, but I see water burger. The stripe. Does look like water burger. does it's actually red it probably does look orange on camera christina oh, we are live on tuesday afternoons at 2 p.m your time and at 6 p.m on thursday nights your time nobody took my glue press i'm nothing if i'm not honest with you guys okay um we we still can't get them and it's no one's fault because they're so popular but every time we expect them to be in they're not and I just don't want to keep having to tell you guys, we're getting them in five days. We're ordering them in five, and we can't. So we just decided that I would not use it on camera until I could get them. Because what happens is we end up getting a flood of emails after I use it on camera, which is such a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful tool and everyone loves it. But I'm just going to leave it right here until, because remember, not everybody is has been a made it for a long time and knows knows the deal. And so just to keep the emails down a little bit. So that Haley and Jasmine can appreciate me. Um, that's all. I love it. And it's it's right here. It's going nowhere. It's right here. And it's still loaded up and ready to be used. But for today, we're going to do this just for just until we can get them back. Um, because we thought we could order them middle of last week. And then it was end of last week. And then I just found out yesterday that it's going to be two weeks. So it's Hopefully. just a little. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. It's a little bit much. All right. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, Judy, the rule of thumb on our I glitter glue is you. as long as it is or, more or, or than 40 friends. degrees Darn. at night, yeah. anywhere between me we and you, start. I can Good. ship it. What if if it's colder it? than 40 degrees, I cannot ship it. All right. Cut the cut the um, DSP. If I say that, you know what I mean? Cut the DSP to three inches. Three by one yeah okay and then cut a white piece no we better do a little more than that no i don't want to do more than that i want to squeeze it on three by one on that and then the white piece would be a sixteenth of an inch smaller okay we have 711 people watching but sadly we only have so three 327 three lines. Two and seven eights so uh, if you guys don't mind giving us a thumbs up, be sure to vent the video as we call it around here. And, and give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying yourself today. And if you're new, please click that box and subscribe and uh, ring the bell so you get notified every time my man made it post a new video. Thank you so much about that comment about craft roulette. I really enjoy craft roulette. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of people commented that I looked lost. I said, well, you look like a deer in the headlights. But you know, when she first said, I kind of confused myself. Those are three by one. Was it an off cut? Mm -hmm. You guys, look, sometimes this works out. In the pages that she had to cut and to get everything we needed, she got three three by ones. The leftover bases. Leftover from that. From, the three by two and a half that you just glued. The the craft colored ones on the stripes. Oh, this. Yeah. From that's, this piece. That's one of, I cut three inch strips. Then you cut two and a half. So that works out good too. One inch by three is left. Yeah, I really, really, really loved it. It was fun. No, when she said the project, no, was it? Yeah, the project was celebration. It threw me because I was like, how is that a project? But then I understood what she was saying. The project was a project for a cel to celebrate a celebration of any kind. But it threw me for a minute because I was like, I thought the project would be like a card or something like that. I don't know. And I'm going to tell you something else. Whenever they, and I need to talk to them about this. Whenever they tell me to pick the parameters I prefer or whatever, like when they ask that question, I cannot read the parameters on the screen. They are teeny. And I'm going through trying to read them. Um, but I did prefer guest choice. I did anyway, like in all of them, I just wanted guest choice. <laughs> you just want to pick what you get to do. Yeah, I want to pick it. I wish I could just get guest choice all the time. Thank y'all so much. I do not believe we reached our card goal. It makes me sad. I I don't think we even beat their regular goal, you guys. So here's what we could do. Here's what we could do since we didn't beat that. Okay. 
they did tell me they had over 40 first timers send in. So that was huge. Okay. But what if we, they're really, really, really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Maybe the maidens could make that happen. Maybe you all could go over and subscribe. I don't know where they're at. Tamitha can let us know if she's got a second to do that. Where She probably knows all of these numbers too. I don't even know. Um, Gigi was the first submission. Um, but maybe we could get them to 10,000 and maybe the maidens could set that role. They have over 400. Okay, I did not know that. So you know what that means? We did kind of reach our goal. Our goal, our goal was 500 cards, but it was really just to beat their, I didn't know we beat it. That means we beat their, um, what is that called? Personal best. We beat it because 396 was their original and we got them to 400. So now let's really show off and go over there and get them subscribed to 10,000. Go do it. Y'all can do it. Y'all do that all the time for our folks. How, what are they at subscriber wise on their channel? Has somebody looked? Yay, they're over 400, but I think it's over with, right? You can't keep submitting. I thought it ended on Sunday. That's what was said was end on Sunday. Ends on Sunday. Yeah, I did catch that much. Thank you guys so much. Y'all always, when they were telling me their goals they were trying to reach, I'm like, all you got to do is tell me because the maidens will show up. <laughs> it's just real, won't they? Oh, yeah. For anything we talk about, I'm like, the maidens, if they know there's a thing to do, They'll make it happen. Oh, only, where's that at? Only Patreons can still submit. How long can Patreons still submit? Because go become a Patreon. It can't hurt nothing. Just support them. We watch them. We love them. I think that's it. one extra. And Tam, those were three by one. They have 9,038. Is that what you're telling me? Or 9,380? I've lost. Oh, I didn't hear that. I'll move with this just to speed it. Oh, I need the whites. So you can do that. So the whites are going to be two and two seven, eight. eight. It's my seven, eight. I um, think we have some strips. Patron members have till Thursday. If you want to become a patron, I don't know what all the perks are. They'll have that all listed on their Patre Patreon site. If you want to do that, then you can submit till Thursday. It would take a hundred of you guys to do it so we could beat the 500 number, but I think we did good beating 396. I'm pretty proud of that. You guys always show up and show out. What did you say? Two and seven eights? Uh, Tonight is the recap of the cards. You'll be able to see what all the maidens submitted. Seven eights? Seven eights. Yeah, let's get them to 10,000. Come on. 402 cards. I'm so proud of y'all. I was a little sad because the last I heard was 380 something. I'm like, that's okay. I didn't have a lot of time to talk about yeah. it. You know, I was going to do like a, a short or something quick to tell y'all to do it. I just didn't get to. This weekend was a little bit busy, but I really do appreciate you guys doing it. You can subscribe to their Patreon for only $5. And I bet you get some really good perks. I don't know what they are. You'll have to go look and see. Did she seem happy? Good, 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 good. Not as happy she would be if they got 10,000. <laughs> if she had 10,000 YouTube subscribers, that would be huge. That would be huge. What time is the recap, you guys? Yeah, Friday they'll show them on, um, on the, right before the video starts. Um, the, you know what? We've got to email that out, Pam, with the, the pattern for the folio I made. Do y'all want to see it? I can show y'all. We'll show at the end of the show. Let me keep gluing. I'm reading. I need to be gluing. Vinny, you read. Mm -hmm. Give me some questions. What they ask. Let's answer their questions. Connie said the recap starts at 610. Is it always just before the show? She, I thought, does she not put something out later or something? Or, I mean, earlier, isn't there another thing they do? And you can see them in the gallery now. That is true. They were hard Christina for Christina and Patreon is a way for you to, um, like a membership you can join to that support financially creative. supports the YouTuber. Um, and you can make a, a monthly pledge, you know, a few, I think $5 is what they said is the minimum a month. And you can just give that money and that makes you uh, a Patreon 
member. I'm going to get my math man to do some math. Okay. They're at 9,300. And is that right, Tamitha? 9,300 subscribers. If that's the case, there are over 800 people watching right now. We could totally get them to 10,000 right now. 700 subscribers if they got 9,300. If that's right, y'all could literally get them there before my show is over. And that would be hilarious. And if you've already subscribed, go steal your friend, your husband, your spouse's and phone subscribe their and phone. subscribe them. <laughs> That's what we do. Subscribe everyone you know. Your child. You know they watch YouTube. Tamitha said it's 9390. Oh, we got that. Come if on. We, we need 610. We got that. Hey, and Tam, this little white strip that I'm cutting is two and seven eighths by seven eighths. So I ain't got time to text. I'm working her little finger to the bone. Okay, so let's keep going and see how long we can go. Let's see. All right, these are the little white pieces Shannon cut. By the way, I think Tam has got all these measurements for yeah. her later. If you didn't get that one, Tam, let me know. We had a moment. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. So here's the plan here. Okay. So these little strips are seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And what I'm doing is you, this stamp set is so fantastic. It's called sunny hello. And there's so many ways to use it. And what I did was took the little hello and stamped it sideways right there. And now what I'm going to do, I'll show you a trick. If you take your stamp set to the space you have to stamp, you can see if they're going to fit. So beautiful will fit. Sunshine will fit. Sweetheart's a little tight. Handsome will fit. Darling. See, won't that be cute? You can just do a whole bunch and use it for whoever it's for. That stamp set, though, you picked a good one. That's the right one. You're very welcome. So then I'm going to go right here. And yeah. Beautiful. Just watch her stamp. Don't watch her face. Yeah, don't watch my face. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two of each. Well, Hello. I'm going to start beautiful. doing two of each. I may have to do more than that. Um, Someone and said your face was priceless. I showed her her Amy face. Said, I posted your shocked face in the group <laughs> waiting for it to be approved. I showed it to her because it froze on my iPad. And I was like, your face when the power went out. She showed me. She's like, oh, awesome. this is priceless. I should have screenshot it. <laughs> Apparently she did. Good job, Tam. <laughs> Too funny. Proud of you. You know what? That's probably just me. My voice and my lips aren't synced. That's probably just me. <laughs> they aren't synced in person if you haven't got to me. Yeah, if you've ever met me in person, it's it's the same way. You uh, hear her a long time before you see her. <laughs> <laughs> you typically do hear me before you see me if you come in. Most people go, I know that voice. That's what I usually hear when I'm turning the corner. Yeah, it's very faint if you're off now. Okay. Very. We can deal with it. Just know it's not you, it's me. Oh my goodness, you guys. That was crazy. When it, oddly enough, when we came back from, um, I'm trying to move that without it squeaking. When we came back from lunch, Jazz said, just so y'all know, we've been having like power surges. Like I think she said they had like four while we were gone. Yep. And I, well, maybe they're over with. Well, they weren't, obviously. Something on my stamp there. Yeah, this font is beautiful. It's so good. It's a it's a good one. So good. Betty said it's like watching a Japanese movie. <laughs> <laughs> like the old karate movies. I'll keep my head down so you don't <laughs> see my mouth. Bobby said, I heard, oh no, the pal. <laughs> and then Mamey. That's funny. This stamp set is called Hello. Was it Hello Love? Sun? No, Sunshine. I don't even really. Sunny know Hello. That. Sunny Hello. Sorry, y'all. Sunny Hello. It's a good one. You should it get really it. Is. It really is a good one. I mean, you should get all of them, but this is a really good one to have. All right. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Shannon made me extra because she knows I tend to mess up at least one or two. So or you can it. always stamp extras of these little sentiments, stick them in with your stamp set to hold it. And then if you ever need a sentiment to throw on a card really quick, you Good got idea. it done while you're stamping it. Good idea. They ask if we're having bad weather. We had bad weather last night and into the morning. So this is probably just something from that. I think the wind is blowing still a bit and there could be a limb that's touching a line somewhere sure. around here. 
good possibility. We had some bad wind last night, and we've had it this morning too. Yeah. It actually came in kind of yesterday afternoon. We were we were yeah. walking back from lunch. And we're like, wow, but it was freezing it was cold. So be dropping tonight. It's supposed to be really cold next week, y'all. Like 16, 13, cold. Alabamians ain't got that kind of clothing. Did Sunshine fit? I wish I wish I could get Hello, Sunshine. real close. Just make it. What doesn't fit on it's Sunshine? It's real super close, but you know what I might Oh, you got, are you saying Sunshine or Sweetheart? Son, sweetheart. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do sweetheart. And then if I have room, I'll go back and put a hello. Oh, well, we're still under a wind advisory. We are? Till 12 a.m. So there you go. That's probably what's doing it then. 15 to 25 mile per hour gusts up to 35. I want a bit of snow. Oh. Hey, wear your warm clothes tomorrow. It's supposed to be 50 degrees. She says that because I did not wear warm clothes this week and I froze. The last two days I have been wearing warm clothes. She has worn a jacket the last two days. I'm very proud of her. I don't love that one. That one's bothering me. Well, you ain't got to use it. This one's good. Let's, re let's do that one. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, sweetheart. We have lovely. Hello, lovely. Hello, on this lovely. One. Oh, I'd love to see snow. I love snow. I love to watch snow. I just love it. It is my favorite. It's snowing outside and you have your electric fireplace on because you don't trust gas. You don't have gas logs and you certainly don't want real log. And <laughs> I would take any of those logs. House when it's snowing too. And you have your you have your tea or your coffee, whatever your whatever your preference is. And, and nice the windows are and open and you're just watching all the snow fall. And it lasts for about an hour or so because you know it's not going to last longer than that. And you just sit there and stare. When we were going to the mountains last year, it started snowing. When we were, I don't even know where, we might have been like Athens, Tennessee. And it snowed on us the whole way up there. And the farther north we got, the heavier the snow got. And we're getting all excited and Blake's mom and dad were not. <laughs> Let's do some foam. But it was fun. You want Scotty or? Yeah, what I'm going to do is hang Yeah, we're supposed this. to have some okay. hard, so hard foam. cold weather Don't next foam week. all the way across because it's going to hang off the edges. Yeah. So just the middle. Like the middle. Just like an inch or so. Yeah, we didn't have any tornado weather last night. And it, it, I said to Vince when we were going to lunch in China, I said, this don't feel like tornado weather. And she, they, were, they were both like, no, I think that's coming south of us. So this... Let me tell you, Panama City got it. I know they did. That's, that's all the news I've seen today. So you need an inch on the hello side? In the middle. Okay, just in the middle. Mm -hmm. Deanna, we have been unable to secure any of the glue press. And so rather than keep telling you we're getting it and then us not getting it, which is the case right now. Um, we're just going to pause for a minute. We're just going to pause from using it so we don't uh, cause too much grief for the, our subscribers and for our staff, honestly. But hopefully we will be able to get it in a couple of weeks. Thank you for Vinny in the video. Yeah. Have you even mentioned that to it? I did once, I think, when we were way by excuse me, woefully behind. All right, let's get back to where we were. How are we doing with subscribers for Craft Roulette? Let's see where we're at now. When I went and subscribed. You did? Yes. It was nine point four two. But that was while we were at the moment it's pretty good. I'm showing six hundred and eighty five people still watching. And we have 573 likes, 582 Her likes. It went up, just jumped for me. Wow, Carly, cut that one. Watching live for oh. a change in the UK. Hello, UK. Woohoo! Hello, <clears throat> I want to come to the UK. I do too. I do too. Alan, can we just come stay with you? First, I have to go. Alan! Alan! <laughs> 
When we get there, I would knock on the door. Alan! 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 <laughs> you would know it's us. I'm sure he's thinking, what? Uh, Sam? He's here, going, you know, no, you can't. <laughs> I actually think, I could be wrong, but I don't think that's Alan watching. I think that's his wife. So that's even funny. I'm not sure about that. You had to correct me, but I feel like I, I feel like that's the case. But still, I love Shannon. Nine four twenty. Shannon did not do a card. Come on, you guys. Nine four twenty. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even watch all of May May's episode. So I was on there for a while. Five hundred and eighty more. I then I had to. Better than that, I'm sitting there talking to Tammy. The like she's there. She ain't there. She's having a girl night with all her girlfriends. She ain't worried about me. I was just talking to her. I got on there. I even texted Vinny and told him to tell you good luck. But it was funny because I was Break just, a leg. I'm just talking to her like she's there. I should have said, cut a finger. One more cut. We need the one on the inside. And then we got it. Okay. So let's start putting this together on the outside. The, the white. Um, mm -hmm. And here's your measles. That one at the top. Um, let's get this going. Okay. Here's what I want to do. I want to kind of center this guy. And I only want to glue the part that's touching our little folded flap so that this will stay free. But I'm trying to center it side to side, top to bottom. But let me tell you how I'm going to do it. I'm going to eyeball it because I ain't stressed. I'm not going to stress about that not being perfectly centered. Okay. Now I'm not going to, I'm not going to intentionally try to get it off, but I'm going to do my best, but not perfect because I don't do it. Having the stripe here helps. The stripe helps you kind of line it up top and bottom too. It's all good. Would love to see you all. I'm right down in the south in Devon, the foot looking bit, if you like. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. How far from Brighton? I want to go to Brighton. And then look, we'll just put our little sentiment on. Hello, friend. Hello, Hi. friend. Hi. Oh, we need big white. This is not going to work quite. Snow. Now, if you were going to say that we just did an as many as, how many pieces of paper, this is what I'm always interested in. How many pieces of paper would you say? That one. Yeah. We use as many as from, you can also put this in the middle. I think I'll mix them up. You have a question about a stamp set, the new stamp set sell out, the sewing one? The sewing one? Or the... The newest one is the embroidery one, but it did sell out. The sewing one, tell me which one. Y'all, Taylor made an embroidery hoop for me for Christmas. Yes. Um, a hoop with a, a seam. And it's a quilt you. that she did. Yes, I want to show y'all. It is absolutely, I have it on my phone. My phone's above my head. I have it on my phone because she sent it to me before Christmas. It absolutely gorgeous. I hung I it where I can look at it every day. I, I don't know if I have the finished one or not. Maybe I do. Let me check. All day. Thank Two decorative finished. papers. All right. So that's what we got for one. One and three quarters. One of each pattern. Two decorative. Oh, I don't have hers finished. Did you send it to me? No. I have. No. She sent me the the picture of it, but I don't have hers, <clears throat> but it's so pretty. This is what she made for me. Is that so cute? And look at all the different stitches she did. It's so beautiful. I, I want to do one like it. that. I just love it. Embroidery is just huge right now. That's why we did a stamp set about it. It's just like, it's the thing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's check it. This is the piece that we did. You can pick it up. Yes, it is okay. perfect. All right. So that's two. It is perfect. Bobby, this card base is a modeled pan or craft. Modeled variegated. Yeah. Something in those lines. How did she finish the embroidery on the other side? She does. It's a piece of fabric that she sews in to hide the back. I think that's what you're talking about. It's So on the back, it just looks like a smooth, like, fabric backer. Is she felt or fabric? Um, hers, I think it's fabric. It could be felt, though. I'm not I that good at it. The one, because I've only gotten 
two kits and one of the kits sent a backer and i haven't watched ahead on the second one to know how she backs it but the backer on the first one she did felt what is that she's saying she'd love to do the game that went by a little i couldn't read that i would love to do the game again of so many items in so long or even you be given say three papers oh, in one yeah. sentiment we used and to how do many that. different cards can you do? So you guys, we used to do where you gave us parameters. Basically you told us what three things we could use or what we had to create. And you would, we would do a poll on our Facebook group and then we would come back in with what you said and try to do it on our live show. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <clears throat> now, this might seem like it takes a long time, but I want you to look at the time, okay? You watched me do this from start to finish, every single bit of it, okay? We started at 2 o'clock. We had a power outage for, what, five, at least five minutes, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. We stamped. Now, Shannon has been cutting, so it's been two of us working because she has been cutting. But what you would do is get all your cutting done ahead of time. You know, you wouldn't have to do what you now have all the measurements, <laughs> and you can just go to town with it. And so it doesn't take that much to get it done. Max, it's mostly the camera angle. Because when I look down at something, it looks like my eyes are closed, but they're really not. He can't close his eyes watching all this greatness. Right. <laughs> I mean, he could. <laughs> These are cute. They're real cute. Oh, I just messed up just then. Yeah, we exactly. pretty much use art glitter glue exclusively here at Momo Made It. Pretty much. We use art glitter glue exclusively, exclusively here at Momo Made It. Besides sticky tape, sticky if we tape. need to use sticky Elizabeth tape, tape or, or something. Or, Elizabeth um, tape, and then I also have um, Crafts craft craft Perfect. perfect. Um, we do use some foam tape every once in a while for things. Scotty. Scotty and Craft Perfect. And um, whatever the other little squares are, I can never remember the name of them. Oh, scrapbook adhesives. Yep, those. We would love you, even if you did fall asleep. Well, thank you. It's, the angle is I really can't fall asleep <laughs> unless I have my sleep apnea machine. So... If I do fall asleep, you will probably hear me snore very loudly. You had one, so this should be 12 with okay. that one. All right, will you help me glue those in so we can get this done? Yo. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't have any glue. I mean, the imaginable. Cards to glue. Oh, <laughs> that would help. I guess I can do this one. It's right here. Okay, shanks, shanks. I really do like these. Shanks, I'll tell you what's going to happen when we these put this white. Cute. When we put this white backer in, they're really going to pop. Because that one piece of white with our sentiment on it. But watch what happens when we put the backer. The back made a in. cute card. It turned out really cute. I'm pretty happy with it. I really need to move my. Pookie, that was cool when they did that. When you and Brenda and Shannon made a project. And you had the same guidelines, but everybody's project was different. Three's I don't remember charm, what that was called. Was called three yeah. We liked it too, but it didn't no, it didn't get watched. People, I mean, people just didn't watch it. We were like, people must not like this. We didn't get good views, and it was a lot of work. So much work for that video. Tinker is asking, what paper are you using today? The one in the background is a PA paper that we're going to have to try to get in. It's one they sent me to try out, and I just opened it because it matched. This one I'm using here is PA. The one, the white is PA. The pe the decorative paper is Graphic 45. What is it called? Love Notes? Yes. And, yeah, that's it. <laughs> we might do more of them. Brenda's been super busy, though. Super busy. Hey, I got to tell y'all something. So the March online event, we came up with the name for it. And I'm so excited and I, and I cannot wait. And I'm not going to wait to tell you because I think it's cute. We were going to do Pajamaopolis, but 
we have decided after much demand, y'all know I've been asking y'all questions like crazy, right? We have decided after much demand that we're going to focus on your stash in this, in this online event, focus on helping you use up your stash. We're calling it Scrap Acropolis because we're going to craft using your scraps. And we have me, Shannon, Brenda, and I heard today that Eileen is going to teach and it's going to be all online March 6th through the 8th. And we'll probably have tickets going on sale pretty quick. We're, we're going to be able to do that pretty fast. Um, we're getting all of our, all the web stuff done for it. And we also decided that club, since we're already kind of middle of the month, the, the made it club is going to start February 1st. And it won't matter that it doesn't start January 1 because it's not like a 12 month thing. It's ongoing forever. So, so just to make it easier, I've got a couple of more software tweaks that we're working on. I've got um, some emails out there that haven't been responded to yet. And are so, you, okay. Are you opening it up for people to sign up prior to February 1st for no. it to start February 1st, or they'll be able to sign up February the 1st? I can't promise that there's a chance we could, but I can't promise that I, it's the, it's all software. It's all development driven right now. So you're saying your game plan is to release By it for February them to purchase 1st, February the running. 1st. That's the plan. There we go. That is the plan. Hidden scrap of <laughs> I can't <laughs> say it. Scrap Acropolis, a good idea. Love Scrap Acropolis. And what's going to happen is um, the classes, which we'll be able to tell you those pretty quick because we've kind of come up with it. We're literally going to teach you how to dig into your stash and use it. Use what you've got instead of like, we're not going to send kits. It's not going to be something like that because we feel like what y'all want to know based on what y'all told us is you want to know how to use your scraps. So you will sign up for it. It's an online event. And let me tell you how it's going to lay out, which we're really excited about too. By the way, look, 12 cards in our live show. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, yes, they are. I really like these. These turned out pretty good. Um, here's how it'll work. Wednesday, March 6th, we will kick the event off with a hangout session. So what, what typically happens is when you come to these online events, especially if you're new to it, there's a lot of questions about how it's going to lay out. Where do I find my links? Where... You know, where does all this happen? So rather than having a hangout at the end of the event, we're going to have a hangout first. So the first part of the event will be us hanging out. We'll be able to show you online. Here's where you go. Like you'll have a portal. You know how we do the portals when we do the online classes? You'll have a portal that you'll go to and we'll explain all of that to you so that the weekend or the week will go. It's not the weekend, but the week, the end of the week will go so smooth for you. OK. So we'll have the hangout. Then after that will be the first class. The class will be a two hour class. And the way it's going to work is we will, when you, um, once we release the tickets and you make your purchase, that gets you in line for an email. That email that comes to you will be your prep work. Okay. Because we're going to be using your stash. So before class, you'll have like each class will have, what do we want to call it? Prep work? Yeah. I think kind of like homework, homework, stuff. prep work. I don't ever like homework because it sounds like after the fact, but it's prep work. I like to use the word prep so you know it's pre because it's pre some work. people think it's after, but it's not. So they'll so you'll get your your email and each class will have what it needs. OK, and you'll go and get from your stash all the things each class needs. So the first day, is, like I said, is the hangout. The second day will be the I mean, the second thing will be the class on the same first day. And then that night will be another class. OK. Then the second day of the event will look like this. There'll be a class, a hangout, and then our regular Thursday live show. Okay. So you'll have all of that still happening. And then on Friday, it'll be a class. Wait, let me count. One, two, three, four, and a scrappy go round. Now the scrappy go round <laughs> Is going to be so cool. We're going to design the projects for the make it go round. If you've done that before, but you'll have to pull the paper that you'll need from your stash. And then we will sit there and say, okay, now here's how to work. Don't panic. Like if, if I'm doing a project and it requires say three pieces of six by six in your prep work, it'll tell you put three pieces of six by six. Right. And then it'll say for project one, you need three pieces of six by six for project two. You need a piece of eight and a half by 11. And a piece, you know what I'm saying? Like all of that will be listed for you. OK. Um, we've even talked about closer to time putting together like a recommendation in case you don't have scraps. You don't have a stash. 
we put together a recommendation of items that will work really well and that'll come later. OK, so. I'm excited about this event because it's different. It's not you getting a kit and having to put and have more added to your stash. This is going to be a we're going to learn. And actually, what we're going to do is we're going to spend time. The, the, the purpose of our classes is going to be techniques that use up your stash. Because so many of you say, I'm buying all this stuff and it's just sitting here. So we're not, we're going to give you these techniques for using it, what you can make. And then we'll, we'll give you tips on how to, how to send it out, who to send it to, what to use it for, right? So I'm super excited about that. And I can give you the cost. It hasn't started yet, but I can give you the cost as soon as Shannon tells me what it is. <laughs> I'll be right back. And then I'm going to answer those same questions. If you purchase it and cannot watch when it's live, you can 100% watch it later at your leisure. To be honest, I think you will have a better experience if you don't put a lot of pressure on yourself and you just attend and then you take those PDFs that you'll be getting and you go, I'm going to make this project they taught me, right? I think rather than feeling the pressure to keep up, which we make it, we're going to make it where you can keep up. These are two hour classes and we always make it where you can keep up. Okay. And these will even be better at keeping up. Okay. It's going to be a mixture of cards, 3D projects, as well as just techniques. Nope. That's June. Sorry. That's... When did we do that? March. March. Okay. Let me look at this. That one. That one and that one. And that one. Okay. So this one is going to be broken out. Okay. This event will be broken out. Noah's out of school. <laughs> In case y'all don't know, Noah's on. Surprise! This one will be broken out, okay? The March event, Scrap Acropolis, will be $99, okay? There's no shipping. Nothing gets shipped to you. It's $99 for you to attend all the days. The only thing extra is the Scrappy Go Round. It will be $29.99. And the reason we did that is because so many of you tell me, I only want to do the make it go round. Like, I don't want to do the other classes. I just want to do the make it go round. So we're going to allow you to purchase all of the event or the make it go round, or you can do all of the event and the make it go round. And what we will do for you to make it easier on the website, when the tickets go up, you'll be able to go get the whole thing. We'll just add them together and put them in a spot. Or you can do the single or the single. So we'll make it easy. So you don't have to go yeah. check out, check out. You'll you can buy a bundle once. or you can buy separately. And it'll, the price doesn't change with the bundle. No. It'll just be bundled so you can do it easy. One click and okay. go. Okay. Um, I don't think we're going to limit this to a certain number. I, we have never reached my max on, on online classes. So we should be fine. Like we've, we've had a lot of people in classes and I think we'll be fine. So now I will say this. If it gets crazy, we might have to cut it off, but I don't think it'll get crazy. Make it go around. Super fun. Here's how it goes. Here's how it goes. Okay. That's here's Devin. how it goes. Devin, here's how it goes. Okay. What did you say so, the other day? Here's how it do. Here's how it do. Tamitha says she's collecting bloopers because she's going to start releasing blooper here's reels. Um, here's how it do. Okay. Um, a make it go around is sort of like a craft marathon. Okay. We put together, in this event, it'll be eight. Yeah. It's six or eight, depending on our teachers. If all four Two, teachers teach. Four, six, eight. If all four teachers teach, it's eight projects, okay? They're 15-minute projects. And what happens is, say I go first. I sit down and I make this little project, and you can make along as you watch. And then I get up. And then Shannon comes in and she does a 15 minute project and then she gets up and then Brenda comes in, she does a 15 minute project and then she gets up and Eileen comes in and does a 15 minute project and you all make along with this or just watch. And so in that one event, you learn eight new little projects. Some of them are tweaks on classics. Sometimes we look back and bring in some vintage product projects maybe hadn't made in a long time. And sometimes there's something new we found or something new we're doing. I'm going to do something really hard with one sheet of paper. You Good know, luck. if Shannon's in there, it'll be one sheet. There, she's going to do something on one sheet. Okay. And it's going to confuse you to pieces. I'm going to give Shannon a date for sign up. Are you ready? I mean, I can always avoid it. I think you could have this ready by Friday. No, I think you could have this ready by Thursday Night Live show. 
I was trying to get the other one ready too. Yeah, I think but we could. Do we have graphics? She is. I've almost approved it. Okay. I think you will. Thursday night live show. I'm pretty sure we can make that happen. Um, okay, so. <laughs> Shannon ain't pretty sure. She is. This one especially. This one's easier, I think, than the big event. I've about got the big event done. Okay. So, by the way, the big event should be able to be released for the public to buy paper craft bundles, sewing bundles, individual tables by Thursday as well. All of our classes will be able to be watched after the fact. If you purchase it, you can watch it whenever. Mm -hmm. Anything we do online is like that. How long will sign-ups be open? I do know the answer to this till March 1st. And we decided that because you will need at, at least a week to prep your prep work if you want to do that. So March 1st is when we'll cut off purchasing. Yeah, because if you don't get your prep work done, you'll just have to watch which isn't a problem. A lot of times, I mean, I'd rather just watch and go back later and make it myself because then I can pause and not miss anything. To me, that's the way to go. Like, yeah. Don't even put the pressure of yourself of trying to create for two hours. Just maybe watch and do part of it or something. So, yeah. Can you show how to add the sentiment on the card? This one? I just foamed it up on the front. Inside sentiment, I think is what they're talking about. Where would you put an inside sentiment? In here. Yeah. Inside. If you don't want it to show, hide it behind here. Yeah. And if you don't care, I wouldn't care. I would just write a note. Uh -huh. I would. Or you could also, this. if you didn't want to, I mean, you could stamp a sentiment behind that box, That's and saying. then put another page on the back if you wanted to write something you didn't want it to show, and you could write your writing on the back. You can also write here. Yeah. You I've can. seen people do it anywhere. Yeah. Just avoid the. Just avoid out here yeah. when you put it in. So. Are you also going to do lotteries for people who can't afford but would love to attend? I hadn't thought about it. I hadn't thought about it. We might. We might. As we get closer, we'll let you know. All right. That's the deal. That's where we're at now. So, I love these. I like how these turned out. They're very pretty. Um, Mighty pretty. Did a great job. Any more questions? We, we said a lot of stuff just then. I'm excited about Scrap Acropolis. Scrappy. Oh, I'll tell you something else we're going to do. We're going to have a way for you to talk. We really want this. What we don't like about online events is we don't get to be together. That's why we like in-person events because we get to be together. But we are we have a way to create a room for you, like an area for you guys to be able to chat back and forth. Not video. Not video. You can, you can in the Zoom calls when we do those, you can talk with video. But we're going to have it where you guys can chat back and forth. Um, it'll be a little private place just for students and it won't be on Facebook. We don't use that. We don't use Facebook because not everybody has it. So there you go, you guys. It's going to be super fun. I hope you guys will all sign up if you can. Um, Karen, are you talking about a fine metal tip? Can you just, you can show how that gets attached. Your fine metal tip is, has screw threads inside of it. Okay. And those screw threads, when you take it to your bottle, I need a bottle that not open. There we go. When you get your bottle and you have your fine metal tip, the bottle doesn't have threads on it. By the way, there's a video on my channel that, that explains this better. We have a video for it. But the bottle doesn't have threads, but the metal screw tip does. So you press and turn and it makes its own threads. Okay. And that's what holds it in. It ain't going nowhere. That's how you put it on. Don't cut this. It's already open for you. There's no need to cut. It's already open. The only one you have to cut is the one ounce. Is and one you ounce. don't have to put a fine metal tip on a one ounce. You just shave the tip off until you can get glue out. And then that is your fine tip. Um, I was reading what Timothy wrote. Um, I missed it. I'm like you, Scrapper Cooplets, or however you spell it. I, we're the same way. I have to ask how to spell it every time. Okay, wait, there were some questions. Ah. I'm glad you asked. Signups will be on maymayevents.com. Yes. All of our events we do through that website. Days of the week for Scrapper Cooplets are March 6th through the 8th, which is a Wednesday through a Friday. Um, where am I at? Hold on. Ah, the instructions for the little one we made on craft roulette. They're already out there. I just have to make a little edit. Timothy, it's, um, Shannon, it's that one right there. 
I put your, I put it over. It just here. has one little edit. So I need, I'll get that to Tamitha so she can do an email for that. Um, don't know about the precision glue press. We've, we've tried and tried. Um, measurements for this you'll have in the description, I think, in the description afterwards. And I think we've caught back up. This one right here. Haven't I already done this? The only thing I added was this, I think. I thought the middle needed something. It looks familiar. I think I've already done this. So I'll get you. Um, then, yeah, this, this yeah, guy. Yeah, I think it's this guy. It should be, yeah. Hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Tamitha, it's this guy. It's this. That's this, okay? But this little piece right here, I just added one piece inside. It's one piece of the navy, and it's eight and a quarter. I'm going to let you write this down. It's eight and a quarter by six. And it is um, scored at three and three fourths and four and a half. And then it's that piece is just glued into the spine. I just added a little bit so it'd give me a little more space. And it just kind of did a little waterfall thing at the bottom. But this one we already have a video on. So if you want to go see how to make it, we have a video on that guy. All right, are there more? The club is coming most likely the 1st of February. 1st of February is Once the we get all the, the kinks worked out. Scrapple Publix is not done every month. It's a one, it's a it's our spring online event, Scrap Acropolis. Spring online event. Okay. I think that's it. <laughs> uh, got it. And the OG is in the drop down of the craft. Okay. So if you saw the. Where is it at? The drop down of the craft roulette. What does that mean? Is it in your. in The drop down. I don't know what that means. No. Did you send it to craft roulette people? And they put it in? I joined late. <laughs> then you're quiet. You want us to be quiet so you can talk? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> That's what she said. We'll be quiet. Um, can you link it here so they can, don't have to go search? Search if you. We'll wait. We're in no hurry. Okay. The club is coming. We'll explain more about. I'll put out a video about the club when we're ready. I, it's a lot for me to hash out since I've made everybody and we're 30 minutes behind today already. But it's a lot to hash out. So I'm gonna let her get that link in here. And then the club is just a way for us to hang out every month and craft together. But you'll learn so much more about the club because I'll have so I'll probably make a cheesy commercial about it, knowing me. And you'll be able to, hard to imagine. You'll be able to join the club after and still go back and see the previous months. Mm -hmm. So no worries. Yes. I never put anything out that y'all can't watch. If you buy it, you got it. I added to the comment on your oh. So under the craft roulette video in the comments. And she will link it on this video. Okay, so after we finish in the description box, they'll be able to get it. Six hundred ninety-five videos. All right, one last time. How are we on? How are we on Craft Roulette subscribers? Can you? Can one of y'all look? So Tammy, can you just keep doing her thing? I don't have my phone. Can you look? Craft Roulette subscribers. My child stole it. I love a good cheesy commercial too. <laughs> what is it with me and cheesy commercials? I just think they're funny. 9430. Come on, you guys. We can do this. So if you're watching later, please go over to Craft Roulette and subscribe. Get them to 10,000. I know we can do it. The maidens have got to set a precedent. We got to do it. I know we can. All right, you guys. Um, since you've been quiet, you're gonna I've you can pray this time because I've been be praying and you've to. been awful quiet. So we're gonna let Vinny pray us, uh, pray for us as we leave. All right, let's pray, guys. Hey God, thanks for the day. Uh, thank you for your protection during the storms. God, I know there was a lot of destruction uh, in Panama City and in other places in our country too, Lord. God, I know that your hand is there and you are doing your best to help people put their pieces back together. And God, we know that you can do that better than anybody else possibly can. God, I pray for those that are sick, those that may be hurting, those that may be struggling with issues in their life. God, you know what they are. You're very familiar with our grief. And God, you know what we struggle with and what we deal with. God, you are the only one that's able. You told us in your word that you could do exceeding and abundantly above all we could ask or even think. So God, help us to trust you and to know, God, you're going to do what's best and help us to just 
rely on that and to rest in that and have peace in that and find comfort in that. I pray God for those watching today, Lord, thank you so much for them, for the blessings that they are to us. And God, I pray that today something we've done or something we've said has shown the love of Christ to them, God, because that's our goal every day. We love you. We give you honor. We glorify you and we give you praise in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for being patient with our power outage. And until next time, bye now. Bye.